Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for the extremum problem. So given the situation fx is equal to 3x over x squared plus 9, where we have x greater than 0. Find the coordinate of the stationary point and state its nature. So step number 1, write down the equation where we have y is equal to 3x over x squared plus 9. Second step is to find the first derivative. So here we have a quotient. So now we are going to let the situation u and v. Then we are going to apply the quotient rule. The first derivative by using the quotient rule. So the formula will be y prime equals to v multiply with u prime minus u multiply with v prime over v squared. So y prime is equals to v where we have x squared plus 9. Multiply with the 3 minus 3x multiply with the u prime where we have 2x over x squared plus 9 squared. Kindly simplify the situation. So where we have y prime is equals to 3x square plus 27 minus 6x square over x square plus 9 square. Finally, y prime is equals to 27 minus 3x square over x square plus 9 bracket square. Step number three is to find the critical value or we can say it, the stationary point. So where we will have y prime is equals to zero. Kindly substitute the situation. So where we will have zero is equals to 27 minus 3x square over x square plus 9 square. So from here we will have 27 equals to 3x square. So x square is equals to 9. So where we will have x square minus 9 equals to 0, factor the situation x minus 3 multiply with x plus 3 equals to 0. So x will be equals to negative 3 and x will be equals to 3. Kali refers to the question. Question state that x must be greater than 0. So meaning that the situation will be valid when x is equal to 3. Next, we are going to use the first derivative test to find out the nature of the point. So when x equals to 3, kindly substitute the value 3 into the first equation where y will be equals to 1 over 2. So meaning that we will have the point 3 1 over 2. Step number 4, we are going to state the nature of the point. So kindly refers to the first derivative. So step number 4, I'm going to use the first derivative test. So where we will have a number line and we have a value 3. So for the left hand side, we will have negative infinity until 3, where 3 is not included. And then for the right hand side, we will have 3 until infinity where the 3 is not included so the suggested value will be so the suggested value of x would be 0 and 5 so kindly substitute the value into the y prime or f prime x so if we substitute 0 and we will have 27 over 9 squared where we will have a positive value. Kindly substitute the value of 5 into the y prime or f prime x and we will have 27 minus 3 multiply with 25 over a 25 plus 9 square. So kindly refers to the numerator where we will have 27 minus 75. So very obvious it is a negative value. If we refer to the denominator, we will have 25 plus 9 square, so which will be a 
positive value. So meaning that we have a negative as a numerator divided by the positive as the denominator. So we will obtain a negative value. Kindly interpret the situation. So the situation is positive. So meaning that we are going to increasing. Next, we refer to the right hand side and we notice that we have a negative. So it is decreasing. So we are interested in this part the nature of the point. So in here, the nature of the point for 3, 1 over 2 would be a maximum point. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.